Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to KNA's Family Homestead. In this video, I'm gonna show you break this big cage that I made in half so I can make more room and be able to get more rabbits. Let's go. <laughs> guys so let me start if you see the cages here that I did is uh, top and bottom um, before I when, when I first started this it was like this like that it was just one big cage tall and I, I did this because I did not want to have to squeeze in there to grab the rabbits. I just want to open it and be able to put my body in it to be able to grab them comfortably. But now that I'm having baby rabbits and maybe even getting more, um, I need more cages. I'm like, man, I really don't want to go ahead and have to spend money to buy more cages. Then I looked at these cages, I'm like, hmm, okay. So, as you can see, when I split them up, got the doors, and yes, I, I would have to probably bend down a little bit to, you know, reach. I said, but out of that cage, I made four cages. So, out of two cages, it came out to be four cages. So, that's what I got to do. If I make four over here, and then four here is eight. And maybe in the future make eight more. That's that's that that's a win-win situation right there. And uh, and I don't have to spend no money. I already have materials. All I'm going to do here is divide them, split them in half. And I do, however, have um, netting uh, already. Um, so that's just easily I can just add it uh, for a bottom now and then i got plenty of wood you guys know i save plenty of wood from the job um so that is good so that's what i'm gonna do and i'm gonna piece it together and show you step by step a little bit here and there of how to do it all right guys
have it. The split came out very good, as well as this one here. Now we have four extra cages for possibly more rabbits. Um, now, I was trying to figure out, and please, if you guys know any other method, I bought these at 47 cents, and they're little, um, little clips. They're really, real, real hard to squeeze, so it really holds on pretty tight. However, I would like to get like a latch that, you know, tells me that they're secure. <laughs> But for now, that is going to have to do. Um, and yeah, so it's good. This is uh, this is the project I worked on, and this is what I got. I can't wait to get some more rabbits in. Um, now, my next um, goal is to try to figure out, and maybe you guys can help me. So please. Um, Give me some ideas for anyone out there who is real familiar with it um you know doing setup on cages and stuff but i need to put like uh, a drip pan of some sort um i was actually thinking to maybe uh, which i really don't want to but i think i might have no choice but to order either a flat sheet um and, and make like you know little pans so i can you know slide in and out and be able to clean them um or get drip pans um now this here is about six uh feet well roughly probably uh, yeah around six feet um six by three so i will have to get some good sized pans um uh, I had asked somebody tell me, well, you know, just get a few pans and put them under there, but I don't want them to pee in between and then have them drip on the rabbits below. So I want to, I do want to get something that's going to cover the whole, you know, left and right side of the cage. So my rabbits on the bottom could be safe from anything that comes up from above. Um, but yeah, that's what I got, guys. And... Uh, it cost me nothing but my time again. Now I'm trying to figure out exactly how to, you know, make sheets or get something, you know, inexpensive. Um, so, yes, I'm looking for that, guys. So if you guys have any ideas, please um, throw them out in the box. Let me know um, so I can try to, you know, try to put something together here. But... Before I do put rabbits up there, I gotta come up with something. And the last thing I wanna do is spend money. So if you guys have any ideas, um, even if I have to spend a little bit of money, that's what I wanna spend is a little bit of money. Um, so yeah, guys, that's what I have. Thank you all for, uh, for uh, taking the time to watch and thank you for supporting uh, this channel. Um, now to the next time and the next video, I'll see you guys then. God bless and take care.